is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And this is one of the best makeovers I think that we've done in a while. That's true. So if you guys haven't seen um, our IKEA as is video, we went to IKEA to find something from the as is section and we just missed out on this like the cube calyx it's called. Yeah, um, by like two seconds someone sniped it from us. Pinterest loves these. Yeah. So maybe something there. And I feel like they've had these for so long. Yeah, this is like an original IKEA product and they're still selling it, I swear. So there's lots of people that will be able to relate to this. This is a good idea. And you guys in the comments were like, oh, I wish you could have done that. Well, guess what? We're doing it. We're doing it. I think this is a very like well-loved IKEA item. A lot of people own it, so we figured that some of you may own it as well, so we wanted to give you advice on how you can upcycle it and make it so cute. Yeah, so this is kind of like a dorm room storage inspired project and just making the whole thing way cuter because, yeah. Okay. As is, it's a little like bland. A lot of you guys asked for more storage solutions, so this is a perfect example of one of those as well. Yeah, so let's jump in on showing you how we upcycled this, but first, I'd love it if you guys subscribe to this channel as well as our vlog channel, because I think some of you still don't know that we have a <laughs> vlog channel, and we post there every week behind the scenes, um, some pretty funny videos, Becky's Bachelorette, just more personal stuff over there. Go subscribe. Yeah, you should go check it out. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the standard IKEA cube shelf comes with one long shelf through the middle and two smaller shelves on the top and the bottom. Carefully unscrew the top and pull out the top small shelf. Use pliers to remove or trim down any exposed wooden dowels. Rescrew the top back in place. Flip the cube on its side so that the single long shelf runs vertically. Now we're adding a backing onto our shelving unit. We have this piece of white MDF pre-cut to 29 inches by 29 inches at the hardware store. Hammer some small finishing nails into the MDF with the white side facing down. Now that we have a back, it's already starting to come together. All right, so now it's time to add the legs. We chose to do this to raise it up so it's a little bit more convenient and it just looks so much better when you add legs. So we have four of these furniture legs, they're walnut and they're six inches long. So to add the legs onto the furniture, we're actually gonna use this hardware straight top plate. So you screw this into the furniture and then you can screw the legs into this and it keeps everything nice and secure. We spaced our plates three quarters of an inch in from the side. Mark each of the holes with a pencil. When the legs are screwed into the plates, you'll see the end of the legs stick out farther than the plate. To make space for this bit to go, we'll be drilling a deeper hole into each corner of the cabinet in the center of the plates. Adding tape to your drill bit can help make sure you don't drill all the way through the bottom of the cabinet. Drill a hole into each of the center dots. Screw the plates in place on top, and then screw in the feet. one shelf in our shelf, we're going to use that empty long space as a closet for even more storage. So from the hardware store we picked up these two pieces that are closet hanging hardware pieces and we cut a piece of wooden dowel that fits nicely inside of our open space now. So we're going to take both of these and screw them on the inside of our shelf, centered and close to the top. So the next step is to make the doors of our cabinet. We got this pine wood. They were six feet long by 16 inches wide and about three quarters of an inch thick. Um, we ended up getting it cut to 14 inches by 27 and three quarters inches. So this way it's gonna fit nicely on the front of our Ikea cabinet. And we want these to match the legs that we bought. So we're going to stain them a nice chestnut. We did three coats of stain followed by a clear top coat, lightly sanding in between each of the coats. All right, the doors are stained and they look really good. The whole thing looks really good, but these doors are gonna add an amazing final touch. So the first thing we're going to do is install our two hinges on each side so that we can attach them to the front of our cabinet. We decided to place our hinges four inches up from the bottom and the top of the door. So our next step is to add some handles. We got these gorgeous, huge handles from Anthropology. We'll definitely link them below. These are gonna make the whole thing look so luxe. Before we add them onto the cabinet, we're going to put on the handles. We centered the handles midway down the door and marked where the holes would need to go. We drilled two holes for each handle and then added them on. Line 
the cabinet on the floor face up makes this next step a lot easier. Centered the doors on the front of the cabinet, we added roughly one inch space all the way around the doors. If you find it hard to stop the screws from sliding around when you're trying to drill them in, an awl is super helpful for making a groove for the screw to sit in. As a final step, we screwed some gold C-hooks into the door for added storage. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, like I'm so amazed by how wonderful it turned out. Like I've seen these mid-century modern inspired things in furniture stores for like thousands of dollars. So we did this from Ikea and that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I think we like chopped it up to like 120 bucks total, which, which pretty good. is a lot, but it's also not a lot for something that looks like this. Yeah, I don't think so. And like if you could find one of these on um, like Kijiji or Craigslist. Or if you already own one. Yeah, or if you use cheaper knobs, because our knobs are really expensive, <laughs> then yeah, you could like totally like make this for a lot cheaper. Yeah, if you guys do anything like this, please send it to us on Instagram or use hashtag StoryGirlSquad because I really, really, really want to see you guys do this. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.